Hi, it's Kate. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing another art journal page, separate art journal page, and it will be fun and easy and great for beginners. My first step is to apply to my mixed media paper, uh, heavy gesso. It is not necessary step, but I like to work at uh, prepared surface. I will dry it and my paper is ready for playing. Now I will use stencil and texture paste. This one is crackle, but uh, it's quite old <laughs> and crackles is not visible anymore. But I, I would like to use it because it's quite expensive material, so why not? So I will apply paste through stencil and before. Before it will dry, I will make some magic with embossing powders. Of course, immediately after applying paste, I will clean all my tools. I, I like to clean it and do not let dry because oh, it's nice material. So now I will be applying different embossing powders three different colors just here and there and because the paste is still wet embossing powder sticks on the paste and i didn't dry properly background so some some powder also sticks to my background but it doesn't matter it's just background it's mixed media and it's playful i will heat set it it's quite long process and all the long processes I cut from the video. So now it's heat set and I will play with two Lindy sprays. One is uh, Moon Shadow Mist and one is Flat Fabio. And colors are South Shape Sand and uh, I don't know, uh, Van Dyke Sepia. But this one are I can say vintage, at least six year old colors. Just I took just two browns and I colored my background and I mix it a bit with the water to to move it. Now some background stamping. At this original page I'm playing just with one really with one stamp set with carved collection number two because I wanted to show you that you don't need tons of material for our journaling. You can really use fully what you have at home or you can buy just one stamp set if you are on a budget and still you want to use what you can afford. So don't be afraid, buy one step, one stamp set and use it for card making, for art journaling, even for scrapbooking. Because all these uh, rubber dance uh, stamps are really high quality and so versatile to use. So now I'm making just splatters with my distress oxides, the same colors which I used for uh, background stamping. It's fossilized ember, peeled paint and uh, wild honey. And now the fun part. I stamped onto different scrap white papers with distress markers, distress watercolor markers. This stamping, it's very easy. You will just take marker, apply color onto rubber stamp, stamp it, no signs. And then I fussy cut like tons of images. <laughs> I like fussy cutting, it's my relax. I don't mind to sit and fussy cut things. And I like stamping with watercolor markers. And these uh, distress markers, they have this vintage looking colors, these colors. So it's not bright. It's absolutely beautiful and it matches everything together. So even when I'm using quite uh, I don't know how to say it. it's not bright, it's very bold, yes, bold images, sorry, sometimes I miss my English words, bold images, it looks beautiful, of course I will cover a bit of the background, but it doesn't matter, background is for to be covered and peak just a bit, 
but still it will be peaking and it will be visible. And I like to let a bit white places around my focal point. So everything is really focused on the middle. And that's, that's the magic. And as you can see, it's absolutely easy art journaling, just gluing something with uh, just uh, liquid glue, some with 3D foam tape. I'm playing with separate page, so I'm absolutely not worrying about the height of my <laughs> of my art journal page. I will put it into box with my other art journal pa pages. I will not glue it to any art journal book, notebook. It will stay stay like like this and that's all i will finish my gluing and absolutely last step will be adding sentiment and it's uh, chipboard by tim holtz with uh, the word collection because i told that it's i have collection of flowers <laughs> so i use the word collection you can use anything you can even use more images, you can mix images, you can make more background stamping. It's it's freedom in creating. So here is my sentiment. I'm gluing with just uh, glue. And here it is, my final page. Thank you very much for your time. All close-up photos are at the end of the video and I wish you a nice day.